What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I started two OT side hustles in one day. So as you know, I started my website OT Focus a while back. And what I decided to do is I was taking a few ergonomics courses and I was getting some mentorship to just start doing ergonomics. So I went ahead and just on my regular OT website is I just made a quick page that said ergonomics in the city I lived in. And I think this is super easy for anybody who just, you know, if there's not a whole lot of ergonomic specialists in your area, or which there probably aren't, right? Most, um, even big cities probably only have a few ergonomic specialists. And all I did is just made an, a web page for my local city. You could also do is you could do it in like another city that may be close to you. And then I provided all my services on the web page. And then within a few months, I started getting phone calls and I did um, and my first ergonomics evaluation. And then another company reached out to me and it just turned into a really simple, easy business. I didn't start like an LLC or anything like that. I just had them pay me directly. And then as I've um, moved on, I've found that an LLC is way better just because it's going to protect your company or protect you so if anyone sues you they'll sue your llc rather than yourself but it is a really easy business to start off there's so low of risk doing ergonomics because you're just mainly training somebody to make sure they don't get um so they're not injuring themselves and you're not really touching them or manipulating like you would if you were doing an OT business or like a hand therapy business. So it's it's really like kind of a safe practice, an easy practice that you can just easily get started in. So that was my first one. And then my second one that I just started within one day, I wrote a, uh, another page on driver rehab. And that's, again, that's just for my local area. So anyone that has, um, that may have dementia or any cognitive deficits, they can get an, uh, an evaluation from me. And it's just a service that I offer in my local city. So, and you could do this with, um, you could do this for, if you live in a city where there's a lot of people, like older people that are on the roads, you could offer these services for like people that have been through rehab, like stroke or spinal cord injury. I just mainly focus on people that have dementia just because it's really easy to get into and I took some courses on it and I don't feel comfortable getting like any special adaptive equipment or learning all that route of driver rehab. So that's definitely um, something that you could easily start in like one day. Now another thing that you could do in your local area is just provide services for people that have um, dementia or um, cognitive deficits by doing a cognitive evaluation. So this would not be driver rehab or anything like that. If you're just going into their home, you could even do it over Zoom or over the phone call and just do a quick cognitive evaluation. Um, just a simple way to kind of start a business. Um, and you could advertise this in your local area by just having a page, a web page that says dementia evaluation in Los Angeles. Like any, like that's all you have to do is just kind of label it, like say what the service is and then put the local city in there and Google will, can actually like place it probably pretty close up to number one. Now you may be competing with other people in your local area, like, um, neurologists that may also talk about uh, diagnosing dementia or something like that but it's just a simple way to get your name out there and then what can happen is if there's any doctor's office or any general practitioner and they see your services on google like they may actually recommend that their their um, patients go to you for for an evaluation and then you could also market to any just general practitioner in your local area and say hey i do these cognitive evaluations for dementia if you have any um, clients that could benefit from that, I offer these services. And it's just a way to kind of get your name out there and start working in this expanding field right now. Now, there are a ton of other services. You could do home health services, That's, but that just takes a little bit more time getting all of that set up and finding referrals. But uh, these like three ideas are, are like the easiest ones to kind of get started in if you want to just get started right away by just having a web page. Um, and then you, I talked about ergonomics earlier. You could also just market that by going to local, like local businesses and giving them your business card and say, Hey, I provide ergonomic services. So you can do that. You can go to, um, physical therapy clinics and give them your card and say, I do driver rehab. You could go to, um, hospitals or, 
um, general practitioner offices and offer your services for cognition. And then one other service that you could provide, which I haven't really thought of, is adult daycare. You could start an adult daycare business or you could go into a business that's already set up and provide these services where you're doing activities or you could be an activity coordinator for like an adult daycare program. And it's just a super simple way to, to get in another field of OT that's not like a traditional OT field. So I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And check out my other video on jobs in OT or passive income jobs right here. Thanks.